we are pretty much halfway through February at the point of me filming this. I'm giving it to you anyways, so... everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my February TBR for 2023. If you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR and the books that go along with it always have a fun little theme. So this month's theme are things that bring off brightness or light because we were having a conversation and it was very gloomy and gross outside and my mom was saying that when weather is gloomy and gross out then it makes your mood go down because I was saying how I had no motivation to do things it was like a whole thing so she chose things that give off light because that means that it's bright out and that you're in a better mood it makes sense in her head so just go along with it but without further ado let us get started the first book she chose is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adehe because flame it's very bright. This has been on my TBR for far too long, just like a lot of the books that are on this list because she keeps putting them on and then I don't read them because I very rarely follow TBRs because I suck at that. But this follows the only daughter of a very prominent samurai who gets married off to a man and when she goes to meet this man they are attacked and she is the sole survivor so she decides that she is going to disguise herself as like a peasant boy and infiltrate the people who attacked her that way she can get the target off of her back but I am excited for this because it does come in audio at my library and also I just love this cover and it would be nice to finally get it off my TBR which brings me to the next book that is also another one that has been on my TBR for far too long. And that book is A Force of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This is an evil queen retelling so you would think that by now I would pick it up because I'm a sucker for fairy tale retelling and yet I still have not. This is another one that like I said is on audio so hopefully we pick it up soon. This is also apparently the month of Renee Adahe books because she picked another one which is The Wrath in the Dawn because dawn is when the light comes, you know, the sun is rising. But this one is an A Thousand Nights retelling. So again, I really should have picked it up by now. And I also own the second book. So if I like this one, then I can go straight into the second one. And I believe this is another one that is on audio. I also think that it just has very pretty end pages. So it would be nice, you know, to actually pick it up, but. Next up is one that I'm actually very excited to pick up. It is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. This is because of the Aurora Borealis. So, you know, it was a little bit of a stretch, but I'll give it to her because it's pretty and I feel like if you did see it in real life, it would probably bring you a lot of joy. So we'll go with it. This one I found at my thrift store for a dollar and I have been looking for it forever because I read the Illuminae files and I really like that and is by the same author. So I was like, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be just like it. And I thought that it was going to have a bunch of the like mixed media like it did in the Illuminae files. But I mean, it does have like some in there, but definitely nothing like how it is in the other series. But hopefully we like this one. I believe this is another one that's on audiobook. Next up, she chose Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. I read a Claudia Gray before, but that was back in like 2017 when I first started my channel. I don't remember what it was about. I want to say werewolves, but I don't think that's right. I remember it was like a blue cover with a girl walking away. I probably still own it. Do I know where it is? No. But this one follows a soldier in space and then an AI and they have to team up to like fight the galactic something. I don't know. But I do know it takes place in space and that there is an AI and a soldier. Apparently it is fast paced, romantic, and captivating. And it is a story about what it means to be human, about deciding what you truly believe in, and about finding your place in the dangerous world. But like I said, I did enjoy the other Claudia Gray book that I read, so hopefully we like this one as well. The next one she chose is another one that has star in the title, and it is Bootleg and Stardust by Glenn Dixon. This one is said to be for fans of The Daisy Jones and the Six, which I loved, and the TV show is also coming out soon, so that's very exciting. But this one takes place in 1974 and is about this, like, rock star who has bounced around from foster home to foster home, and then he gets the big break of his life in this band. The next book that she chose is A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexander Rowland and this one is because gold, you know, if somebody were to give me gold in the form of jewelry, I would not be unhappy about it. She just said because like gold is sparkly but I like my answer better. But this is like a fey prince falling in love with their bodyguard kind of situation. It's like fantasy. 
It says that, that it is a delicious tangle of romance, fealty, and dangerous politics. So we do love romance. We do love dangerous things. Not so much politics, but that's okay. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this book, so I'm not 100% sure what people think of it, but I am definitely intrigued by it, so maybe we'll get to this. And then the final book that she chose is The City Inside, and this is by Samet Basu. I have had this for a while now and just haven't picked it up yet, but it basically follows a, like, very in-the-future India where these two people are involved in some kind of conspiracy, but it says it's funny, so I'm excited for that. But other than that, I don't know too much about it. But it does seem fairly short, so it should be a pretty easy one to read. It only has a total of 240 pages, so that's a pretty easy read for the month of February. So maybe we'll actually get to this one. Alright everybody, so that was my TBR for the month of February 2023. I am sorry that it's coming to you so late. I have excuses. You don't want to hear them. Whatever. It's fine. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>